Welcome back everyone. I've been trying to make this video for like a year now and I just keep forgetting to do it. But essentially there are some ways to go ahead and actually share your screen from your Nintendo Switch Lite over to a monitor. Now it's definitely not as easy as it looks and it's definitely quite a process to be honest. And pretty much what we're doing is we're using a third party device, you know, not a actual Nintendo Switch solution, but we're going to be using our phone essentially to capture the Nintendo Switch Lite footage via the camera, and then we can stream that specific device to a monitor of some sort. Now, this is a multi-part solution, and this is the best thing that we have right now, but I'm going to be honest, I did try this out, and it's actually not that bad of an idea. Now, I will tell you, if you have an Android device, this may work out a little bit better. You can still do the same exact thing with iPhones, but it may take a little bit of a workaround, in my opinion. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need our Nintendo Switch Lite, and we're essentially going to need it to be charged and everything like that. The next thing we need is an iPhone or an Android, and the next thing we need is our monitor. Now, we also need a way to go ahead and stream our phone to our monitor. So if you have things like Chromecast, most TVs nowadays and monitors have some sort of like share play solution. So you can kind of go ahead and share your screen from your iPhone or Android to your monitor. One thing to keep in mind with wireless pairing solutions though, there is quite a bit of latency. So if you're trying to go ahead and, you know, get instant gameplay, do keep in mind it could be quite delayed when you go ahead and click a button and, you know, until it shows up on the screen. So your best bet is to find a wired solution. So luckily for us, a lot of devices nowadays have the ability of actually, you know, pretty much sharing our screen from our device to our monitor. Androids do this in a great way. And that's why I kind of use an Android for this. So not only can you go ahead and plug in, you know, your Samsung phone and get Samsung Dex and all that stuff, but you can actually go ahead and plug it in via that same monitor, pretty much share your screen from your specific Galaxy. And from there, all you have to do is go ahead and plug in your monitor to your specific phone. And then you should be able to see that phone from that display. So you're pretty much good to go almost. Now at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and open up the camera application and you can pretty much position your Nintendo Switch Lite into that frame. However, you can see that there are a lot of different, you know, pretty much elements on the page. So there are a lot of camera applications you can get on the, you know, actual Play Store where it'll allow you to go ahead and hide these specific options. Now, unfortunately on iPhones, I think there are some ways to do it, but it is kind of a little bit annoying. I know, for example, if you go on Snapchat, you may be able to get less UI elements. You'll still see that circle and maybe some elements at the top, but you'll actually still be able to get the whole entire experience that way too, which is still really good. So uh, from what I've heard, there are some you, you know people who've made similar tutorials like this who mentioned the application Open Camera. So that may be another you know area where you can kind of look at and you can go ahead and use Open Camera instead of actually using you know the stock camera app. And from there, there's a little option under settings where you can actually hide the on-screen GUI essentially. And from there, all you have to do is go ahead, hide that on-screen GUI, and you can pretty much go ahead and make your way back and you should be able to see that camera application without any elements on it. So now all you have to do is position your Nintendo Switch Lite right onto that frame of the you know phone. So you have to position it quite well. You may want to use a tripod or something like that. But after you position it, you can go ahead and you know connect your Pro Controller or your Joy-Cons to your Switch Lite and you should be able to see that your Nintendo Switch Lite screen is now being pretty much casted to your monitor and that's pretty much the process. It's a complete workaround, but it's pretty much the best thing we have right now until there's a Nintendo Switch Lite 2 that enables a docking situation. So that kind of covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.